Okay, good. All right. I'm going to call to order the meeting of the Personnel Committee, Tuesday, October 24th, 2023, at 5.36 p.m. In accordance with the requirement of the open meeting law, please be advised that this meeting is being recorded and will be able to be found on the Lunenburg Access YouTube channel after the meeting. The following information is also provided for members of the public that would like to view the meeting remotely. To view the meeting remotely from a computer, please use the link below to join the public meeting webinar. Or from a telephone, you can dial toll-free and enter ID. If you have not registered, please Zoom, you will be asked for your name and an email address. No. No participant ID is needed. Just press the pound sign when asked. The agenda lists all topics which may be discussed at the meeting and are those recently anticipated by the chair. Votes may be taken as a result of these discussions. Not all items listed may be, in fact, be discussed and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by the open meeting law. So I call the meeting to order public comment. Do we have any public comment from our committee? And could I ask that Julie make a statement about sort of where we are in our process and that we're not done, nowhere near being done? That is one of the bullet points. Yes. But before public comment. Yeah, not. I mean, so on behalf of the committee, uh, just to clarify, because it seems that there's been some confusion with this process, uh, the process that we've started of um, looking at current job descriptions and grading them or rating them with a new system that we brought to the table because the town didn't have an existing <laughs> way to accurately um, rate a position and place them on the salary grid. So... Um, we started utilizing the um, rating guide that was used for the town of Winchenden and process an exercise through to see how far off uh, the descriptions were um, compared to where they're currently placed. And just to test this, to see if we're going to go forward with this position manual, we need to know that it works. And a bulk of them fell within range where they are. There's some that the descriptions might need to be a little clearer on. And then I know there's some concerns um, with newer employees in the positions where the, the position may have changed. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, just completed the first round of the exercise and now the rest of the um, agendas to discuss the next steps on what we're going to do moving forward. Thank you. Any other public comment from the committee? Any public comment from the public? They're all on. Hey, Joanne. Hi, Hi Joanne. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Hey, uh, good luck in Fitchburg with your election yeah. coming up. That's going to be a hell okay. of a thing. Good evening, guys. Yeah. Good We're seeing you guys. Excited. Yeah, no, I know. I, I am too. It should be good. Uh, a couple you. of quick questions. And I'm, I'm glad um, the committee kind of condense what they're doing. We are, uh, my name is Dave McDonald, by the way, 155 Island Road. Also, I'm a commissioner on the sewer commission, been there for a long time. We saw what you're doing and I do have uh, a couple of questions or I, I can just leave them as comments. But one of the things is I'm looking at how this works and there are so many different varieties of employment or employees out there. This one system may not be applicable to every employee and if that's the case, they're going to be penalized for that by points. The other thing I think that we're going to look at is, are you guys taking any recommendations from uh, supervisors? In our case, that would be from Bill Bernard. When you're yes. putting the numbers in. I can answer that. Okay. Yes, we, we invited every department head to the meeting as their groups were in discussion. Okay, so I know you got the email in regards to what the personnel uh, is rating Paula, what Paula rated Paula, and what Bill rated Paula. Um, and, and there is a discrepancy there. So I have a recommendation and I talked to our chair. We would love to have a joint meeting when this gets closer to final uh, before it gets approved by anybody to have a chance to review it from the commission and from Bill Bernard. I think that's the fairest thing to do because I know you're you're still working on it and I appreciate that. I think you want to get it right, considering all the conditions that's going on in town right now. Uh, we want to make sure that it's fair across the board. Yeah, I agree. So I, I like 
I like to be scheduled for an appointment with either Julia from the uh, uh, Human Resources or the board yeah. to have a joint meeting with our board. Dave, this is Sue Andrews. Hi, Sue. How you doing? Good. And um, I would say that we're not uh, we're not anticipating scheduling such meetings. That this would go to the directors, and then whoever is the boss of the directors, that would be the avenue for which uh, disputes might be examined. I don't expect that we would open this up to whole committee members of uh, the group. I think it needs to be internal. Um, essentially. And then if there's a dispute, then we'll look at it. But it isn't our intent to be meeting with every single committee that there is that might have an impact on these jobs. It would be an impossible project. <laughs> not not really. I, I think what's going on now is probably more detrimental to what's going on. Uh, I think if you want to do something, I'd make a recommendation that you guys get an email out there explaining that this is not done and this is what we're doing. I mean, people... We People, people have a, kind of a right to know where they stand. And right now, looking at the paperwork that I see or our board saw, yeah, we have discussions on it. We we like to get it answered. Uh, and right, what really bothers me right now is that you're going over outliners tonight and our um, man of business manager is not even on there as an outliner. And that, that's a concern to us as well. It is too, Dave. It is in the Paul spreadsheet not, working from. No, Paul, Paul is not on the meeting for the outliner tonight. So, David, you're, you're way ahead of the game on this. We haven't gotten to that part ourselves yet. And we instructed okay. Bill to, if he had a dispute about how the job descriptions were, this came up the last meeting. If he had a dispute about what Paula's job, he thought it was different than how the, the previous director ranked it, then bring that uh, forward and and begin to tell us what might be different. So that's the next step. And we're using all the resources with the manager and then the director and up the chain of command to assess all these. So we're nowhere near ready to be um, worried about impact yet. We're still working in the in the bowels of this thing. Yeah, no, and then Sue, I appreciate that as well. But I, it is my understanding that Bill did come to the board and express his concerns about the DPW position. Is that not true? It's true. And our instruction to him was to work with the HR director on those elements in that job description he felt weren't adequately represented. Okay, and, I, and that was to adapt and that was yeah, and that, that's and what that we was asked done, him correct? to do. Yeah, that's what yeah. we asked that him been, to do. Has that been I don't done, Julia? Has he done that? No. He hasn't. I've seen emails come through, but nothing. We haven't sat and discussed, like, in terms of updating the job description. It's more of um, comparable data or, or comparisons. I and that's say. a different issue. Yeah. I mean, pay is a different issue than what does the job description represent? And if there are things in the job description that don't represent what he feels is correct, then he and Julie can adapt to that. That's what we asked him to do the last time. Okay, that's from from what I understand, he did do that, but there's no minutes uh, posted of that, and there was no video of it hmm. when Bill was there. There's there's nothing about him coming to the board. The board? What board? You. <laughs> you, 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 you guys. But when he went to you guys, Dave, it's a simple issue. If he thinks that there's something that isn't adequately represented, then then rewrite it and give it to Julie. That's all that we asked him to do. Stu, I can guarantee you that's going to happen. I, I can guarantee okay, that. And we'll, we, we will look at that tomorrow. But in the meantime, I, I, I'm asking you guys to consider the total spectrum of what's going on. And if it's out there early and you're still, this is like uh, Donna said, this is a working project. And, and I understand that. But we have to make sure everyone is on the same page. And right now they're not. So that's, that's all so I have for my public comment. And hi, just, Wendy, hi, Dave. Um, an email to all town employees went out following the our meeting on the 25th of okay. September. So that I, I saw that one with my own eyes. So all employees received a fairly clear email with the breakout of this is where we started. This is where how far we've come bolded we're we're nowhere near done we're still in process of this 
Um, hey, hey look, I, I think it's I think it's great, Wendy, what you're doing. I, I I've been reading it. I like it. Um, but didn't you, didn't you guys have another consultant there? And then you're using what you're using Winchenden as a model. Is that what you do as they're doing? No. What we're using the Winchenden tool. That's all we're using. Just a tool. Okay. Anyways, I wish you all a happy Halloween and uh, good luck. Thank you, guys. Uh, yes, we did. To answer your question, we did hire a consultant. Um, we thought we were going to get more out of what came back. And we didn't realize that we here, this group would be doing as much detail as we are. We thought we were going to be done for last town meeting. So um, it, it is a bigger job than any of us anticipated. Mm -hmm. um, and we are trying to be very collaborative. I know we, we ask that all department heads be invited, that all um, staff wants to come and, and speak or be here, that they're more than welcome. And, and we are nowhere done. But listen, Joe, I know you guys and you care about the employees as much as uh, we all do. And yes. uh, I, I know your hearts are into it. But on the other hand, we just want to make sure that everybody gets a fair shot. That's all. Right. And and Bill did come when we did the uh, business manager, the sewer department business manager. Bill, I believe he was Zoom. Through Thames. It was through Thames. It was, no, Thames. It was an Inspection meeting. Okay. Okay, so he was here twice, once on Zoom yeah, and, and once, in person. once on person. Because I and was it, uh, some of the, the business manager ones. Of course, I'm always the higher. Yeah. I'm the higher person. So Bill, Bill and I went back and forth on that. But um, he was here um, on behalf of that job description. Well, do you have? Do you guys have a goal when you want to complete this? Last, do you have um, a goal? The, last May. <laughs> <laughs> Last May was our goal, um, where we were hoping for the November uh, special meeting, but that's not going to happen because, as I said, okay. we thought the the consultant was going to do a lot more than was actually done, and that did not happen. You, you know, I'm glad I talked tonight because I, I was on the understanding that you guys are going to town meeting in a couple of weeks and presenting no. this. And Absolutely okay, so that's not. that that's that's the perception that's out there. So no. that's good to know. So I. And again, I appreciate it. And Joe, we got to get yeah, together are, on this year. And call me. We're going to, um, no, uh, we're nowhere near ready. And honestly, okay. I think we're going to be tight to to go in May. Uh, this is, because you know, Dave, it's been two years that I'm here now. And I feel like we're pretty much same spot we were in when I started here. Um, the consultant was supposed to give us the the high speed road to get to yeah. town meeting last may and that did not happen in any way shape or form so we then had to regroup uh, consider you know a system for grading and that's the other part of this is through all of this we may end up potentially we could have discussion if we don't feel like we're getting where we need to that that we need to tweak the rating system too this is i think we you know, the email that, that Julie had sent to employees did did identify some of these things, that there are some, you know, as we said, some positions that firmly landed in the pretty close to the same spot. We've got, you know, a group, a decent sized group of outlying positions. And, you know, we'll start to take a look at all those, make sure those job descriptions are spot on with the help of supervisors. Um, and, you know, then work from there to look at, at you know grades from there because we're we're kind of condensing the grading system we're clear about that that it's not going to be you know 16. <laughs> you know you know one thing wendy and i appreciate everything you said too and i and i really appreciate the uh, four of you doing the job and i know you're working hard for the employees but execution may be out of your hands and we just want to make sure it's executed right and that would go to mm -hmm. upper management so yeah we're concerned about that but you guys okay. Listen, I I know you have the right uh, uh, mind frame to help the employees, and, and that's all. You know me. I mean, I've been on that board for four or five years, and that's what we care about. But mm -hmm. uh, you guys got to make sure what you say is executed, and that's what I'm talking to you guys about tonight. So, again, you, happy you. Halloween. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Stop over and get Thank some candy you. at the house. I'm giving away the little bars, not the big bars. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, do we have any other Mrs. Chairman? 
Yes. Um, this is Paula Bertram, currently the sewer business manager. And I just, I really appreciate the dialogue that just occurred um, because it gives me a better understanding. I did receive the email as did many other employees and, and there is still confusion about the process, not with just myself, um, because it just talked about where you are and that you're rating and that you're classifying and that you were nowhere near done, which I understand. Um, but I do want to make a couple points. The the chair just indicated that we, you know, if, if employees want to come and have a dialogue, they can. Yes. I attempted to do that numerous times and was told I could speak under public comment, which is what I did. Um, Bill and I have rated the job. And I will say that Bill was at the meeting. He was given all of the information, literally just mo moments before the meeting. Um and so he did have an issue with some of the scoring um, that he tried to bring up. Unfortunately, that video, that meeting was not recorded, nor are the minutes very clear. Um, they simply state that the, the positions were rated. Um, this is the first I'm hearing about rewriting the job description. And Bill and I have talked at length about this. So I'm very surprised by that comment. Um, but I can assure you that we will be working on that. Um, I am concerned that you know, the meetings that I have attended, you've talked about outliers and job descriptions that may have to be reevaluated. Um, both Bill and I feel strongly that the rating that was done is incorrect. We also feel strongly that the job description is not accurate, the one that is being used. Um, as I pointed out in correspondence, the job description of the HR consultant is much more accurate, but there are many things still that need to be added. Um, so I can assure you that, that, you know, between Bill and I and the commission, because I think getting the, the involvement of the commission, who I work directly with is important, um, but we can do that internally and then, and then bring something forward to the personnel committee. Yeah, it would be greatly appreciated. But we are asking Bill to work with Julie, yes. not to bring it to the personnel Correct. committee. Yes. Just, just for clarity, Paula, did you get that? Um, okay, so so I guess the question then is, is Julie rating the positions or how does that dialogue happen? So uh, if you got yeah, it. So Bill would work with Julie putting together a new job description. We actually just had this at our last meeting where supervisor worked with Julie. They had a brand new description that was brought forward to us. First for approval. So the committee now says yes. Well, it has to go through the leadership chain, true. Yeah, yes. Once it gets to us, gone through leadership chain, then we approve it. And that's where Bill would be here as well, just to to kind of give it that blessing to say, yes, worked worked with Julie. This is an accurate representation of what, you know, of, of Paula's position then we would give that approval for that position. Then we would go through and rate it as, yeah, an, as an approved. Okay, and that's very helpful to know because you know that, certain, that level of detail certainly was not in the email that went out. Um, and I just wanna comment, I completely agree that it's up to HR and the director to work together, but I also think it's imperative that the employee work with the, their direct supervisor in order to make sure that the duties that they actually perform are included and reflected in that job description. Absolutely. Yeah, we, definitely. we've said that from the beginning. So, so um, I, I certainly understand moving forward how this is going to go and appreciate your time. Um, and, you know, I'm sure you'll be seeing something from Bill and Bill will work with Julie and then hopefully we'll establish a dialogue. Right, because that's how it would work is you and Bill would, would create what you feel it should be then Bill and Julie would work to make sure they're both in agreement. Then it would come to us. We would vote that new description and then we would rank that new description just like we did the old one. Okay. And I just want to add one last thing is even on the current description, um, you know, both of us rated the job very differently than the committee did. Um, but that's something we can address at a, at a, at a, future date, I think if we can establish and agree on a job description, that's the first step in the process. And I appreciate you clarifying the process that's going forward. And does Bill, did Bill get a copy of the matrix we use? Mm -hmm. okay. yes. So, yes. so you could see how we rank 
So when you're creating a job description, you those criteria to get you from one level to the next, mm -hmm. you might want to make sure it within that job description. Exactly, exactly. And I will just comment, you know, Bill has pointed out on numerous times that this rating, and I think I think Dave kind of touched on this, is that the rating schedule right now, 23% of the score is geared towards hazards and and work and um, safety versus knowledge and experience. And for some positions, that makes sense. But for others, such as administrative, it doesn't necessarily make sense. And if you look at other scorings, and I've and Bill and I have looked at many. Um, actually, he's looked at thirty-one towns. I think I've looked at twelve. Um, the rating system is extremely different than what Winchington is is doing. I don't know how old Winchington's is. I don't know. I know the company that did it uh, is a recruiting firm because I looked at them, um, but. GovHR is a is a company that many many are using, um, and the rating system is extremely different. I can start from scratch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I will look at GovHR. So I know if you just check. I I'm not sure the last person I have. I Pauline. I have Paula. Nancy, Nancy O'Rourke. David, David Donald, Donald. Paula. There was an it's iPhone it. too. There was an iPhone too. Is that off now? Yeah. Can't see. I just wanted to, I thought I missed somebody. I just couldn't see it. Okay. That, that was Brett Ramsden, just FYI. Oh, it was Brett Ramsden. Ramsden. Brett Ramsden. Oh, oh, for the commission. What? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any Hi, other guys. Public? Thank you for your time. Thank you, Paula. Have a great night. Any you other too. public comment? Yes, if I could. This is Pauline Roy. I'm the Hi, outreach coordinator at the Council on Aging. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all the hard work you're doing. You're taking on a lot here. Um, but I wanted to comment on the agenda item you have tonight for vacation leave accrual. Um, I think the last time you guys talked about this was your meeting on September 6th. And during that meeting, there were comments made regarding a perceived lack of disparity in the PTO accrual between the different contracts and groups in town. Following that meeting, I just spent some time analyzing the different contracts. Um, and my takeaway from that exercise is that there are discrepancies between those uh, relative to the issue of PTO accrual. So I'm not going to go through all of them. They are listed. The contracts are on the website. But I just wanted to summarize kind of what I found in the different contracts. Um, in the police and DPW contracts, I feel that they address the issue of vacation accrual because they state that the vacation time is based on days as opposed to hours. Uh, in the DPW contract, the accrual is based on full months of service given the next year. And then it clearly states that, you know, after five years, an employee is given 15 days, after 10 years, 20 days, et cetera. Um, in the police contract, it states that the vacation benefit is given in days. And after 10 months, you're given 10 days, after five years, 15, 10 years, 20 days, so forth. Um, and it goes on to clarify in the next paragraph that 10 days signifies two weeks vacation and 15 days is three weeks. Um, in the case of the fire department, I believe they address it by the fact that the vacation benefit isn't accrued, but it's based on years worked. Um, the municipal employee contract is probably the one that's the closest to the SAP. Um, and there's a carve out in that contract that specifically addresses the situation where the employee's hours change from one year to the next. It says, setting aside the impact of any change in employees' regular schedule, the result shall be. Are you guys getting the feedback, or is that just me? That's just you. It's just you. We can hear you okay. Okay, good. Um, so that contract says, setting aside the impact of any change in employees' regular schedule, the result shall be to provide an employee with the equivalent of two weeks based on the employee's regular schedule, a vacation after one year of continuous service, three weeks of vacation after five years, and four weeks of vacation after 10 years, um, et cetera. So, and then one further note is that your own SAP agreement back from 2010 did address this issue. Um, it talked specifically that paid vacations were given in days and stated that the vacation was to be distributed in weeks. And it would say, you know, 10 paid days with parentheses, two calendar weeks, 15 paid days, three calendar weeks, et cetera. So I just, I wanted to publicly state that I think there is some discrepancies there and I think if we're looking for equity, um, we might need to look a little bit more closely at that. So thank you guys again for all your time and effort. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Pauline. Anybody else?
All right, now we'll move on to the agenda. Thank you all for that great feedback. Okay, approval of the minutes from October 17th, 2023. They're not available. Well, I was going to say, I didn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you see them. I know. So, I'm going to push that out to the next meeting. Move that to the next meeting. Thank you. Ongoing business. Any new ongoing business before we move into the? Okay. New business, vacation leave accrual. So I first think that Pauline just said, so if I start in January of this year, do I not get a vacation week till January of next so year? July, July. So July of the following year. 18 months. With no vacation whatsoever? No, six months. If you start in January on July 1st, you would get January mm -hmm. to July. You accrue, and then you are eligible to use it in the beginning of the new fiscal year, isn't it? Is Nancy on here? She's the expert. Nancy, you <laughs> she was on. Yes, that's right. She was right. So you would. So oh, if you yeah. were hired in January, on July first, you'd get your six month accrual, whatever, depending on how many hours you work. Okay. So I work. I work full time, which is thirty five hours. Is that correct? So sure, it depends. Yeah. So, so in so six on months, July, on July first, you'd get a week because you would have got two weeks, but you're only there half a year. Okay, that that makes me feel a little bit. I was thinking people had to wait eighteen months to to get a vacation with their family friends. Okay, so the vacation accrual. What what is the issue that it's eighteen months waiting for the next year to take my time? I think the initial issue that came up was that instead of accruing throughout the year, you can't use it until July first. Was do you accrue it and can use that time? So the people who had their hours changed this year, they'll start to accrue for that, but won't get it until next year. So basically, it's whatever time you completed. So let's say, I'll use Pauline as an example. What she accrued in hours, because it's done in hours, between for FY22 is what she has to use. Um, to so use FY23 is what she has to use now in FY24. Because she earned it the previous year. So, so now earned. her hours went up. But because things are counted in hours instead of days, you don't get a week's vacation. You get X amount of hours. Now, the accrual in hours was less last year. So now she works more hours, but has less hours to take for vacation. But so she's supposed to go to three weeks after five years, but she's not because the hours don't. So she don't get she has to get that third week till her sixth year of service. She earns it in the fifth year. It's when you get to use it. That's the difference. You earn it, but you can't use it until the next fiscal year. And why do we do that? I we've been doing it. I when I researched it with Nancy, we've been doing it for quite a long time. It is pretty common in the industry to do it that way. It's if you had to change it, you'd almost have to break what you do and then just start a new plan completely. And what that would do is you, the previous year you would earn it in July 1st. And then if you change the plan on that same July 1st, you'd start to earn and be able to use it at a certain point earlier. Mm -hmm. So you'd be breaking the whole system and then recreating it. And I, you'd end up with like a double budget issue mm -hmm. then. Okay. So, cause the, I, I truly believe time and money are the only thing we can give people, right? Employees. The only thing that you really can give them is time or money. So why, Nancy, what is the benefit of doing the accrual and what's the impact if we just switch over to days? Well, the benefit would be that you can take a day no matter how many hours you work in that day. So several employees have eight hour days or 10 hour days. So if you didn't take a whole week of vacation, if you took a day here or there, now you have to use 10 hours if you're on a Tuesday, but you only have to use eight hours if you're on a Monday. That's 
the benefit. And the benefit would be if you did change out your scheduled number of hours, you'd still get days. If we changed it to days. So you would get, if, if in your first year of employment, you worked 20 hours a week, and then your second year you worked 40, instead of getting 20 hours of, or 40 hours of vacation on July 1st, because that's two weeks based on the 20 hours, you would mm -hmm. get 10 days. I'm still personally not seeing why, I mean, to me, the days are deposited. You can use a half a day. You can use a third of a day. You could use a 0.25 of a day. I mean, three hours versus days isn't a big issue because everybody works different hours. To me, the issue is you budget the whole year and you can then use your vacation on July 1st. You would have to change the complete budgeting process for the town to switch it to another where it's actually, you can use it at the time you accrue it. That's the two different ways. You either you accrue it and you use it later, or you accrue it and can use it. Maybe well, I think the first, when, when, when this was brought to us, the first issue was in the change in hours. Correct. So one way to deal with that issue alone is to change to days. But the dilemma is a person's hours could change at any point in time during the year. So a day in January might look very different as a day in March or a day. So no one is in a, a a, a 36 hour or a 24 hour or a 20 hour consistently along. So what's a day mean? What's a day mean to Donna versus, I mean, they could change. It isn't, no one stays in the same hourly rate necessarily for a whole year. Right. But if, if, if you get 10 vacation days, that's what you get. If you get, but at how many hours, huh? At how many hours? It, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. How do you pay yeah. them? How do you pay them? It's okay. it's you pay them a half a day, whatever that day is. If you take a Tuesday off and that's a, that's a 10 hour day for you. And you put in for a half a day, you pay them for five hours. That's how we do the personal time at the moment, because the personal time is in days. So okay. that that's, if someone that's... takes four hours on a Monday, it's a half a day. If they take four hours on a Tuesday, it's 0.4 of the day right so that's how we do it with the personal time now because that did get but changed it's, still based, it's based on hours it's still on based the, on the hours that that particular employee works isn't that correct nancy the it's based on the hours they work that day yes but their that their accrual is day. in days right right so if we switch as you said vacation days to days, vacation days, you could still take a half a vacation day, three hours of vacation time. But I think that it's a secondary issue. It's still, if you do that, that's fine, but it's still going to be that you accrue it, but you can't use it until July. So it's really a two pronged problem. Right. Right. And initially, the first prong that was brought to us was indeed for Pauline, she had completed five years of service. So beginning in her sixth year, she starts to earn at the higher rate. Well, all I mean, if you take that piece of it out, earning in days, she should have had three weeks of the counting at the hourly, you know, 27 hours, right? So that because it's counted in hours, that gives her less than her three weeks for vacation this year, which is what she earned because it's being counted in the hours, which is why to some degree, I feel like it is it, two different issues, but it, it's a huge penalty to an employee to I keep something on their five fifth anniversary years and not wait, get it, which is one of those reasons. Years. I feel like going to days, you're doing it with personal days. I was gonna ask that question. Nancy, is personal days, um different than vacation days um only in the fact that you get the personal days up front so everyone gets them on seven one it's not based on prior year service or anything everybody gets three days okay but, but it's somebody can take days. but it's not again somebody says i'm going to take three my 
personal days all on Tuesdays when I work my 10 hour day versus my eight hour day. But I, she just said that if you took a personal day and correct me if I, if I misunderstood this, Nancy, please. If I took a half a day on a Tuesday and I have a 10 hour day that day, it's 0.4 of a day. No, half a day would be 0.5. But because it's based on the hours. If you take it, it whatever you're she taking. She gave an example. And I'm four hours, I think. But I'm trying to remember, it, it was it was the example that you gave a personal day or a vacation day? Personal That's, day. Because personal day. So if you took half a day on a oh, Monday. Four hours. Eight, eight, right. Four That's hours, a half a day on a Monday. So you can take you can take personal time in hourly increments? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good Lord. I have a doctor's appointment. I've got to leave at three o'clock today. So I would take an hour and a half personal time to go to my doctor's appointment. Okay. You can go in as little as one hour, one hour increments, really, even when things are counted as a day, because yeah. you can do 0. 0.162 foot. Believe me, I see it. There you go. <laughs> so, so uh, Nancy, how do you deal with, uh, so employees might work uh, different hours, different days. If they always choose their longest day for their personal day off, uh, is there any, uh, Kind of adjustment for that? When, no. So on July 1st, what is, what is it? I don't know. I forget how many days there are. How many days are there? Four Sundays? Yeah. Three. 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 So the three days, how do we calculate what the three days are for any individual employee? Everyone gets the three days. Everybody gets At eight hours? It's That's just three days. Day. It doesn't, day, hours don't matter. It's three days. So if they pick a day where they have a lot of hours, does that change how you look at it? No, it's a day off. Pay, she's just paying on their pay, right? I mean, if you take a half a day off, let's take the hours out of it. I'm going to take a half a day. You, a half a day comes out of your personal accrual bank, your personal bank for your personal, your or your, you know, bank of time for your personal days. So now you have two and a half left and you just got paid for the whole week. It's just your regular pay. So there's no, that I can see, there's no budgetary impact because let's say somebody doesn't use their personal days. They're going to get paid no matter what. So the, they're budgeted for X amount of money in the year, ba not based on, I mean, whether they take their time or not. So Nancy, how do you determine how much a day's pay is? If a person is a 20 hour person versus a 36, is that how you look at it? Well, it's not, it's not calculated by that. It's just, they use a day's a day. I, I, I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. But if they never works eight hours a day, how would you know what a day's pay is? Well, I don't like record it as day a day's pay. Day it's just recorded as the, as their time off. They're still going to get their full pay. That was there it's... within that. Okay. So it just takes away from the, personal time and they get their regular pay for that. Okay, that we, that makes yes. sense. Yep. And yeah, see most, most companies, like what you said, so most industries, most cities, I've worked for three cities, and, you know, the first of the year, whether it's January, July, you, 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 all your stuff starts. You get your three new, your, your three new personal days, your three weeks vacation. If it's my fifth year anniversary on that June, January or July 1st, I now get four weeks instead of three because I moved up a bump. Um, I, I don't, I've never had to wait a year after I was supposed to have something to actually utilize it. I don't know. You work for a municipality. Do you wait? Yep. And, the, and let me tell you something I've seen in the last three years, seven units all rebargain and guess what's gone waiting. The only people who have to wait is there are probationary periods within certain unions, six months. We've got one that's got a nine month, um, probationary and they only get access to one personal day in their sick time but at the end of that it's all there everything is there and that was it that was a, a re-bargain within all of our units and uh the equivalent the sa the equivalent of the sap employees have access to all their time immediately the only thing that happens is if people leave inside of a year then they actually could end up. They're thinking they have to pay back. They you have to pay back. Yep, and that and is that and that's in corporations, and too. that's a clear statement 
in in the handbook. But you you would still have to pay back here because I've earned that vacation week. You just haven't accrued it to me yet. But I hit that mark. You're so I would think legally if I'm leaving, we pay out. I think they're saying because yeah. they're paying oh. in advance, they expect the employee right. to pay back. So the town. The difference is you're you're getting you could get paid for that vacation time before you actually right. you know accrued it. Mm -hmm. Right. So so it's paying you in advance. Kind of. Yeah. So sort of, right. we have to track. We've had to do that, like a probation period, yep. and someone was hired with the trip to Hawaii. So we didn't say, okay, you're going to lose pay for two weeks while you go to Hawaii. We'll pay you, but they had to sign a waiver yeah. that said if they left yeah, they before they get an air anniversary, their last check, that money would be yep. deducted. Yep. And we had them sign that waiver yep. Yep. Um, because we didn't want to like withhold two weeks of pay for that yep. employee. So that's what we did, you know, because it's always about making it right to the employee. So now, and, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Ahead. Um, on on these these um, unions that that did this, where you once you hit your anniversary date, you you immediately get that week. every July one. So how did how did the municipality deal with this double budget issue? Because it is well, if they started off doing it that way they wouldn't have that issue no, they you change it from one to the they other they changed it but then they would have had to they double all up. came back and they changed it so they would have had to double they up. were sitting where we are right now they've made a choice to we, change we, and my we, question is how did they deal with how it? would that affect us budget wise or with the other unions the accrual system i guess would it would i it? don't think it would affect the sap employees in and their budget it, the budget is for a certain amount of hours per year or whatever and the vacation and, and sick and personal is just their hours there's not another budget for their vacation time or another budget for their sick time or anything it, nobody and and I don't think there's anyone in the SAP whose position has to be covered when they're out so it's not like the police where they would have to cover the shift. Nobody fills in for anybody. So there's no well, additional that, cost. But with the accrual right now, would as, as Sue saying, would there be two kind of budgets that we're working through? So on July 1st, you have all the earned that you did the previous 12 months. And if you change the system to uh, an active, you get it and you can use it. That means you could end up with using your last year's vacation, which became available on July 1, and under the old system, under the new system, you could also use all those times as it. For that well, you're assuming it rolls. But it's still it's still not going to no. affect the budget. You will, yes, the people will have more time off and there will be less working hours, but it will not affect the budget. Right, because the, there's no money in it. There's no money in it. Yeah. It's because time. at the end of the day, it's time sitting in a seat. It's not money attached to it in the budget. Right. It's yeah. Julie's so now going to be out four more days. Your budget is still the same. Two vacations. But they'll time. still get paid. Pay. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're yeah. never so getting then it wouldn't. Now, then, you know, there could be employees that come, that this could backlash, right? So you say you, you do this new system. Um there could be employees that come back and say, well, that's not really fair because, you know, Wendy got, you know, double the vacation this year and wasn't mm -hmm. in the seat. And I did. There's always that though. Let's be honest. Like when, when I first came on this committee, I remember I, I asked Tom Alonzo if he would come sit and talk with us because there were certain things that were not the same as other bargaining units. Mm -hmm. And the answer that came from him was, that's just how it goes. It's not always going to be a mirror image per se. And these are all, if this was a value to a bargaining unit, they certainly can look at it from a, from a bargaining perspective, right. but it sounds like some of the, some of the other, first of all, in reading and hearing how each bargaining unit deals with it, it is slightly different They're unit slightly to different. unit. Mm -hmm. There are some so, well, and someone's always got to be. Fair. However, there's got to be a unit. However, that's some of the, I would have to say that the DPW, police, and fire, even though they're they're 
listed as days, they get their accruals in hours. And because at least police and DPW are eight hours a day, everybody's eight hours a day, it really doesn't matter if it's a day or an four hours because that's a day is eight hours for everybody every day it's the people that and they're all 40 hours so they're not going to get more hours change their hours so those two don't really they're not in the same group as say the clerical union and the sap whose hours okay. vary and could change it you know in the next year so is that why they accrue similar to each other? I don't know if that's why. But... So functionally, this could, I just want to make sure, like from where I or more or less where she stands up, this is something that the system could accommodate. And that you know, would be in July 1st of this year. This year. This, yeah. Yeah. Witness yeah. why... A, Personally, this, this has upset me from minute one. When I heard this, I blew my lid, particularly since, I mean, I'm not saying anything that we don't know. It's been a, a, a topic at select board meeting. We are struggling to hire and retain employees. To me, this is a non-budgetary issue that can be solved. So my per my personal hope was to back in the summer were was to go to this town meeting with it, but that's obviously not going to happen. But I feel like this could be something that could be put forward potentially at May well, town I, I, meeting. You know, I agree with you. May town meeting to look at look at a change for this. I think because it's an days easy win days are days, and I think it's an easy win for the value of people. What's the maximum that any employee has? Oh, I believe it's five. five. Usually five. So, so you still have to complete years. your years of service to get it. I mean, yeah. So what I was going to say is that that means that those employees that are at five, we have a lot of them that are at five, mm -hmm. that, that means in that year, they could end up with 10. So it isn't about money. It's about coverage. How would they end up well, with 10? How would they end up with well, 10? Because, because, currently, because you're going to change the accrual system to say yeah, they earned last year. And now I can start using this year too. He yeah. says it rolls. Is it a use it or lose it, yeah. Nancy? Yeah. Usually, yes. Unless so, there are extenuating you, circumstances and you request either to carry it over or pay out. They'll get more. They'll get more one year. Because they overlap the one year. year. They'll overlap the year. Because we're accruing, we get this year, we'll get it on the and then we're saying, well, we're going to give you your days now on seven one, so you'll get those two at once, just in that first year when you convert. It's a conversion year. Yeah. yeah. Well, the two systems have to. But I mean, you but still do they, over each other. But do they? If there's nothing that says so, if it's use it or lose it, then everybody's going to start on seven one. But you already have you already have let's say five days from last year. But we're not rolling them. Oh no, oh. what you're earning. But no. you, yeah. there's no way any employee would want to give that time up. I wouldn't. Oh, you're thinking that you just change it on July 1st and you look forward and not backward. Correct. Okay. That's oh. where I'm looking at. Oh. So it's so, so yeah, we're not going backwards to say no, but, starting but July so wait. 1st. <laughs> wait a minute. So July 1st, if I've got three weeks vacation, <laughs> July 1st, I could take my three weeks. You sure can, and then you under the, under this. No, if we change the way that it's done, and it's a crew as you go, and be able to take it as you go, it'll be another year before I can take all those three weeks because you, I you accrue it over time. That's not the suggestion to accrue it over time. The suggestion is to give it immediately. Well, um, in in July first. July first, you're oh. getting three weeks. July you get five 1st. years, you get four weeks. Yes, so sorry. Yeah, you, you hit twenty years, you're getting five weeks. They so started accruing anymore at all. Yeah, yeah. This just is what you're it, dumping. They're just dumping, dumping on July 1st for the number of. This is based on time. The July yes, 1st, you get, yeah, you can book your flight. You have the three weeks. I'm, this is what I'm doing for the well, other. Maybe this year. In, instant. Yeah. <laughs> Angela, but oh, also, <laughs> your time isn't hourly. 
you, you put in your, and completed your five years. So now you have 15 days, yeah. not 10, which I mean, somewhere along the way was the intent of it all. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It wasn't to, yes. to, you know, penalize folks that are now actually working more for us. Um, I don't know. To me, it seems like, again, if it's, if we were use it or lose it on that, then there's everybody's zeroed out as of September 1. They're given their time. And then September. everybody's, I'm um, sorry, uh, July. July. Sorry, I meant to, okay. I did not mean to say September, okay. July 1. Um, so as of July 1, then you have your three weeks and you, you know, where everybody's an adult, they can budget how they want to spend that for the year. And their, their pay is going to be the same regardless. So how would it work about uh, after five years getting an extra week? So let's say my fifth year doesn't really uh, impact, get impacted until December. So what happens to the extra week then? Do you get it on your anniversary date or is that front loaded on July 1? It's something probably to define. It would have to be defined. And I think that could Wait, be defined. Right. You know what I mean? The Go way ahead, it's done now. The way it's done now. So say you hit five years this December. So next July 1st, you would get a half a year accrual at four years and a half a year accrual at five years. Based on the it's current accrual system. But if you change that, Nancy. Yeah, I'd have to think about that. <laughs> you'd have to, I mean. Because the cleanest if you way would be at the end of the fiscal year, let's be honest. Cleanest. We have to say, yeah, have arrived and it was on your um January, January 1st, no, January 1st, because you pick so by seniority, you pick the calendar. So the cleanest way to do it here would be on July 1. calendar was probably their fiscal, fiscal. yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise it messes up your yeah. budget. Right. Yeah. So, and because I need to go by now we're in arrears again, aren't we? But then if you're dumping it all on yeah. July 1st. It's on your anniversary. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And the anniversary happens on December. What happens? This way. If they hit five enough. years on December, you can't give it to them when they're only four and a half years. Yeah. Or do yeah. you? Or do you? I don't know. Well, or maybe you give them the four years, and then at five years they get one more week. Yes. And and that certainly is something that if, if we wanted to look at putting forward an article for town meeting, certainly there these would all be part of the discussion so that it is clearly outlined. Because the other thing is, is, you know, for the sake of everyone's sanity moving forward, having very clearly <laughs> written, no, nothing ambiguous about what it is. So that, you know. Hey, in a bitch court, I can buy back a year and I can roll over. I can buy back one week, uh, two after um, five years. And I can buy roll over one. Buy back, you mean it just get paid for it? Just get paid. I'm not gonna take it. I don't want to lose it. So I buy the week back. Which a lot of people do. They get a like Christmas check. In corporate America, you know. And yeah. and you yes. that would affect the budget though. So you'd have yes. to that would yep. affect right. That I'm yep. not recommending that. It's vacation. Yeah. Use it or lose it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and again that I think other municipal entities, I think that that's probably one of those subtleties from municipal entity to municipal entity. Yep. But so I, I, I totally agree in putting this on the writing up and putting it on the warrant for me. So I guess the question is what happens next? So we have to write up what we want that to look like. And I think we would need to do that with, with, Nancy, some, and Julie. with Nancy and Julie, just if Nancy's were volunteering you, Nancy, but yeah. some, mm -hmm. some help so that it's clearly written, it makes sense, and it works. But just really to address, you know, th that major issue, no one should qualify to earn more based on years of service and and not be able to take it, it just, especially without budgetary impact. Because let's be honest, I mean, Everybody in the SAP, they have to get their job done, whether they're there, whether there's a holiday, right? On the week when it's New Year's, you still have to do the same job, mm -hmm. even though you're not in the office that day. Same thing applies mm -hmm. if you're taking a, a day, three days, five days vacation. Payroll still has to get done. Sure as heck does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So, so I, I'm just, yes. yes, no, absolutely. So Nancy, would you be willing to kind of work on that with us to get that for the Maytown meeting? Certainly. Thank you so, so much. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Okay. So that's off the table. Great job, everybody. Can I make a suggestion? Please. Um, it would be nice if one of the group kind of took that as a leader in that project so it doesn't die. Because we've got a lot of things going on. When do you, when do you I got it? So that's going to be Nancy, Julie, and the other and I am. I really am. Um, would it make any sense, what do you guys think, if I was I met with them and we brought back something that would be precise and presentable be in the interest of our time? Because let's face it, we got a lot to do. So I up of Julie. Nancy and Wendy to come up with verbiage for a town meeting warrant for the main meeting on vacation accrual. Does the subcommittee have to adhere to open meeting? Yes. Is there any other way to do this? I'm gonna say, Nancy and I could work on this together in house and then send our draft to Wendy. Yep, to see if that's presentable to the committee. Gathering. I think when you create the subcommittee, then you got to have. Recordings that's and what I'm, yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I was going right. with that. It's like, well, and bringing it in, and it's not becomes tracking it at all. That's fine. Right. And and she's not a quorum because it's only her. So there's so no you could make a motion that we explore it more, and Wendy's going to take a lead in that. Perfect. Fair. Second. Second. All in favor? Because the Zoom we have to do roll call. Yeah. yeah. Aye. <laughs> Sue. Aye. Aye. And I'm an I. So there you go. Perfect. All right, now we're going to move into what's the next bullet? Discussion of job description consistency with rating guide. Yeah, you kind of touched on this earlier. So what I was thinking, especially after last week's meeting, um, where there were questions and one thing stuck out to me was like, hey, well, what's the confidentiality of this job? Why are we, why are we guessing? That should be clear in the job description. Mm -hmm. And that piece was missing from there. So it made me think like, okay, so now that we've, gone through the exercise and rated positions. Once we finalize the job descriptions, I think we should make sure that the, the the language matches with the position based on how it was rated. It should be black and white, clear as day, no right. guessing whatsoever. Yeah. So that's all that was saying. That's out there. <laughs> well, because down can, the road. I, I don't want to I don't want to sidetrack and I'm sorry. Um but for example, I I, I still sleep with Bill. No, that didn't come out right. No, no. Excuse me. I think doing Bill's job description. Yeah. As the DPW director, and with the weather one, and we said, well, no, he doesn't go out in snowstorms. And I, I know Jack Rodequin's plow. Jack Rodequins was out. If a truck broke, Jack was there making sure the guy was okay, fixing. And and so to say our DPW director is not in severe weather. Mm -hmm. But I, remember, it's about the work the director does. The director's job isn't to plow. No, but, but when there are situations in snowstorms, he's out there with his team. I know, but he's still the director. That's Correct. the work we assign. Right. Not just he still that he might do it, phrases. Yes. And this this gets back to, and I left last meeting thinking, wow, no pay for performance. It sucks. Oh, uh, sorry. It does, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and there are certain people who do certain jobs and they do more than maybe based on skill set, experience, lots of things that differ from the job description. Right. That the job the description is this, <laughs> but but I or Sue or Wendy or you, we might do this. It's not our it's not our job, but that's what we do. And our job description doesn't cover it. And unfortunately, because the SAP system, we don't necessarily get paid for it either. But we do this. Just like you said, Bill might be out there or Jack, he was out there doing those things. That may not be in his job description, but it is things. He and does. their character to do. Yeah. And and you know, that it it's a, it's unfortunate, in my opinion, that they don't get recognized and paid for that. 
Right. Because they do it. I mean, but trick eyes that is, is also Miss Blanc. But that mm -hmm. is no matter the, what, what you're, that is the the system the that the municipality is. has. Okay, but I think that was to Paula's comment is that there's a lot of things that you universally did that might not um, encompass the the each group, and there's stronger things that they're in that weren't counted for. Which is why you have but, to make sure that the job description is right. accurate. Well, okay. and a good example of when we did uh, Joe's last time, uh, and we pushed on her a little bit, but she still said that it was an associate's degree in three years, three to five years experience, as I recall. But mm -hmm. if you really went to the market, forget about Joe, mm -hmm. if you really went to the market and went looking for that skill, it would not be yeah. associates three five years. It would not. And to say that two or three times, no, no, that would be all right. That I didn't, because she was thinking about herself. So, I didn't have any more degree than that. But it isn't about her. It's yeah. about if we so had to go hire this position, yeah. what should the person look like? Yeah. You don't run the whole program that she runs and have an associate's degree in three five years experience. Mm -hmm. You don't. Very true. However for the role here in a smaller town with fewer meetings with some of it and, and honestly based on where that pay could max out that might be the corresponding experience level you get but I think that all it is is where the points are so what's the right. responsibility level and she felt as though it wasn't high enough it probably right. wasn't because that particular issue we didn't give her many points on because she felt firmly that that was experience that was needed. But I'm sure she has a lot of experience, but anybody we would hire, we would hire somebody as a videographer at three to five years experience. And then maybe they get more experience and they could run the whole show, but they couldn't run the whole show with yeah. an associate yeah. in three to five years. I think what she's poking at is that the job description might not be right. But, well, and that's, that's why like with, I wasn't saying Paula. I kept saying the business manager, right? Because it's about the job, it's about right. the job. not the right. person sitting and, in. Right. And Julie, you had said that all along. We yes. have to consider the job, not the current right. person, person in it, in. the previous person in it. Yeah. Right. It's tough. I mean, when you're sitting here and your position's being graded, and you know, not realizing that this is an exercise, and like, oh, here's my chance. Like, I'm going to be regraded. Like, mm -hmm. we're just going through an exercise. Like, right. we didn't know at that point what. What's going to be? We still don't know. That's what we're discussing yeah. next. I, right. We're still unclear. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's get to next. Yeah. COA dietary aid. We're now going oh, no. to go. No. We want to go in order. Not at all. This is just uh, the, the way I wrote this is fine. I apologize. I was following so, the agenda. Yeah. But I'm going to reach out to Julia. Yeah. Look, I don't think we're ready. No, no, no. Okay. For this no. level. Perfect. This is the bullet point. The discussion on the best way to reevaluate current outliers identified in the following positions. And these are the ones that I saw in the spreadsheet that were highlighted. If I missed any, well, that I think we're not discussing any in depth anyways. And, and certainly, I started highlighting them sort of mm -hmm. as we progressed. Yeah. And then I was like, you know, I heard the, the word, oh, we might have to look at this again. But I know I missed some early on. So as Sue was taking right. notes or you were taking notes, I remember a couple of times where people said, well, I'm going to take a note of that. Well, yep. I didn't re reflect that necessarily as a yellow highlight. Yeah. So we need to kind of regroup and see, yeah. do we have all of them? Mm -hmm. right. I'm okay. We're just so step one, hold on. So step one is, do we have everyone? We're obviously, we'd be missing Paula's position in here. We know that, yeah. that's gonna, that we're going to get a revision on that. And DPW director stuff. But we can't really do Paula's until we have a new job. Oh, right. oh definitely. But we know. Okay. So I think that step we one was that you know, we people. identified everybody who didn't, you know, yeah. fall in the neat box. I'm sorry. We said the business manager. And who did you say? The DPW? I didn't see DPW director here. And again, there could be more. This wasn't to really name every position just more or less like here's a discussion this is what we've identified or you guys have identified at this point um so what are the next steps what are we going well and i also do? think that some of the outliers we may go back to those people and say this doesn't feel right because now that we look at it across 
mm. with relationship to the rest of the people. Now I can see where we may have mixed because early on it was new. We may have put some people in categories that didn't belong in those categories, mm -hmm. either plus or minus. How I found the sheet hard. Out. Well, I found the sheet hard to do because I couldn't uh, play see, with like it. I'm a numbers person. Oh, but you can play with it. Well, it was frozen. I don't have a, oh. I don't have an upgraded system, so I really couldn't do that. But, oh, but if I if, made it into a sheet. Right. I'll, I'll because you, you have to look at to like all the sevens and all the sixes and all uh, the fives. Yes. And then say, does everybody look about right? Or does somebody look really weird? And uh, the number's pretty comparable for a seven. You know, who's not lie up? Why does this person have, you know, 100 points for this? And every other person has 40. Mm -hmm. That yeah. would be like, why is that true? Well, it makes it true. Yes. Right. So if you take it in those categories, that's why I asked you which one, which column was the, so if you took all the ones and all the twos and all the threes and gotcha, that allows you to kind of break it. And then, uh, you may find that when you put a person into a seven versus a six, it, it'll you'll see immediately about why that is because you can look right in the column and say they get extra points for this. Did they really deserve those extra points? And they should be in the next category. Mm. <coughs> One of the things I wanted to do with this immediately was get rid of anything that was blank. Could that we just hide them? Crazy. We could hide them, yeah. but. Hiding does weird things mm -hmm. when you do sorting and grouping. So I started to do pivot tables. Okay. Because then you can you can get that. rid of yeah. all that stuff. You can you know filter it out or do whatever you need to do. I just have a question. The ones that we didn't do mm -hmm. because there are no people in there. Mm -hmm. So I would expect that if we ended up needing that position again mm -hmm. and we hadn't had it in a while, it would have to come back to the committee for us to then address. If we need a description we and rating. Description yeah. and so it's okay if we do them or we create one with just none of those. Maybe players. we just take take this spreadsheet, this this tab, right. and create a new one that doesn't have exactly. any of these. Then it will be easier to it will be to way put all the field position. Yeah, yeah. Only, so only the position. But you can just sort by the you know, look at the seven. So well, and another way you can look at this is that if you look at categories, so if you put everybody in order, you know, one to 16, and then you'll just look at the first whole column. So just look at education. So if you go down, you should see a progression that says less, less, more, 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 more. And you, you can actually look one, at it that way. Too. Perhaps, so one to, oh, by grade. By grade. So because both ways will show you who the outliers are because all of a sudden you look and say, wow, why is that person get that many points when nobody else in that whole category is that many points? What grade, the new suggested? The new suggested. Yeah, the new suggested, which is uh, column E currently. I renamed this spreadsheet because remember I said- yeah. I to... So I renamed it, I removed all the twenty FY23 stuff and then I added in a column because I needed it for the- pivot table, I added in a column that is outlier flag. That's what I called it. Yep. Um, and, you know, kind of started to sp anything that was yellow, I said, yes. Right. Because uh, there was no way yeah. of, I, on the pivot table, I couldn't right. say, I want to know if it was highlighted yellow. It's just no way well, to do I'm it. Well, I'm interested <laughs> in the money end. You had all the money at the end. Yeah. Because, but that's all that's the later. Uh, um, that could be old. It's probably old. Yeah. And this was from I think it was that way 23 or something. Nobody's even looked at it. Should just remove it. Which is why I think we need to start looking at that because that's going to take some time too. We want to develop grids. Yes. Salary. Yes. That's... But let's not complicate the, the yeah. with the money yet. Yeah. Because it, it'll only kind of yeah. drive us in a direction we shouldn't be driving. It shouldn't be about the money. It should be about. What's right the now, right? What's the one that worries about the money? Later, yeah, everybody that has came to make a public money. comment, it is about the money. Make no mistake. Confident if you feel that I've looked at all the ones and I've looked at all the twos and they look like they belong together, or else yeah, that's a sense. That and for this step, together. I think that's the right thing to do. For this next step, that's the right thing to do. And you add the money at, at the other yes, end. Yes. The other end. For sure, no, yeah. no money, and I just right. want to not lose sight. Of so that. then we should get rid of those columns, in my opinion. Yes, delete those. I'm not even looking at them. Okay. I have, I wasn't either, but yeah, people are looking at them, and I would. 
Well, I looked at it's one, I think it was the van driver, and we gave the van driver this huge amount of points, and I forget which column it was, and I thought, and it stuck out like a red flag. It's like everybody else in that group was something, yeah. and we gave the van driver. Yeah. And I can remember the night we did van driver because yeah. it was kind of a yeah. dispute about it at the time. Yeah. And but I think show. something like that, you know, the I think we gave a lot of weight to the what and the what ifs like what if something gets hurt what if there's a medical emergency maybe we have to look at we have to look at the general I was just gonna often, say that the, right. the, the you know, likely seven put. eight nine times out of ten correct for the the scenarios yeah. that happen in their job yeah because everybody can have a what if think about yeah it. I mean yeah correct so I think you know Kind of looking at them again. And the other part of this that that some at some point we have to consider is we have positions that have a great deal of physicality, mm -hmm. and do we need to look at a shifting in points for those? I don't know that we do. I I don't know that we do. They can be captured in the category they're in and then they won't get as many perhaps on the other side it just depends on do they have both yeah most times you wouldn't have both you'd have the physicality but you the direct right I so mean, so you're not getting your points in one through eight you're grabbing them in you know nine ten nine, ten, nine, ten nine. eleven and twelve you're getting huge points so and i know there was concern in the reverse yes. that there was a huge you know weight put on 10 11 and 12 carried a decent amount of points yes. And if you were, if you're in a job where they're, you know, your traditional office, you're, you know, you're not putting any of the points there. So I don't know. I think, I don't know if that's something we'll need to look at, but I'm not sure that now as we're still gathering is the time. Right. And I definitely would want to just take a peek at that website. Copy, yeah. Just I don't think they have much. It's just a consultant firm. So they're not oh, going to have okay. the documents that you needed. Someone that you could hire as a consultant to do the study for you that uh, other people have used. They thought that there were right, similar I type. Do, unless, unless they did a search. Yeah, that was, Some that were done by GovHR. So are they like Carl's yeah. Institute? Is that, yeah. Something. Question us that that's all about salary and comparisons. And we have to kind of put that aside. That may be an issue later, but it's about the work. Right. You can't be saying, well, I should be paid like the guy in this town. Right. What's the work? You don't know what the work is. You tell us what your work is, and that's what we're going to start there, and then we'll go to the next. Because but all towns may pay different. We know that. Right. Totally agree. But on, on the end, when we get to money, I think money is an issue for Lunenburg, and it's hence why we can't fill positions. Well, but that's why we said it's not time yet. Right, to really I, I totally agree, the... but but that's why everybody is asking about the money. But I also thought, I, I think both of you have said it to me, and I know I have some other friends that work in municipalities, that every municipality can't find enough people. Mm -hmm. Every single one, because of all the changes in mm -hmm. the municipalities. Requirements. A lot. Yeah. yeah. So I think you said- Lack of flexibility. There's a lot yeah. of things that, you know, that's a huge one in the municipal world. Working from home, that's not a so much thing. And in the private sector, that's become much more of it. Yeah. Actually, like they're, they're, gonna gonna see, they're bringing it home. I knew this would happen. They're you bringing know. it back. I did because yeah. I watched IBM do it a long time ago and it wasn't had anything to do with COVID. It had to do with space. They were bursting at the seams. They didn't have enough space for everyone to fit into a building. So they said, you know what? We don't see you in the office very often. Why don't you go home office? So people moved. They went uh, mm -hmm. other places. And then IBM said, just not getting enough productivity from the Fidelity workers. just did the same Come thing. back to the office. Yeah. And people said, what do you mean? I moved to Boca Raton. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You have to yeah. come back to Lexington, <laughs> Massachusetts. So they left. Oh, of really? course. Because yes. Verizon, they just signed their contract till 26. They're still all working from home till 26, 26. They just pushed them on another three Well, months. this is none of this was uh, union, right? No contracts. It's at will employment. Mm -hmm. So sorry, you can't come to the office tomorrow. 
Bye bye. <laughs> right. I mean, and and I didn't mean that. <laughs> I think that's one issue that private sector companies may provide a little more flexibility than say municipal. Oh, entity. I think again, I think it's gonna. I think it's changing. Just like Sue said, we're seeing it already. Where people are being asked come back to the office because let's face it, you know, majority of people are more productive when you're sitting at your desk and there's no other distractions. Well, and there are those kind of jobs that you have to face to face. That's I mean, right. A lot and of you have, have to. That's right. Department that's right. Face yeah. to face. Yep. Yep. So I mean, that may be true that that other that other entities are struggling. And it will become less flexible. I think, you know, become more especially on the director level jobs. There's a bill right now that we, we, uh, we go back to four day work week, and Friday is is part of our weekend. Wait, that's a, that? that's a bill right now for the next um, state election. Is that just so that they can get around the wage and hour laws? Uh, I know. I I think, I, I think the the COVID era, um, people um, of youth um don't want to punch a time clock um they have that flexibility they you know they're going to work from home they're going to wear their 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 slippers and, and have their starbucks it's coffee nice. that was door dash them and and that's that's what's coming up in our, our world so and there's the a hour, wage and hour laws would say that if you only work a four-day work week then the two hours extra every day if that's what it is to a 40 hour week would be overtime mm -hmm. I think the state is trying to mm -hmm. override that and say that you can have a four day work week and you don't have to pay overtime. I think that's what that law is trying to get around. Mm -hmm. Exempt and non exempt. Interesting. Rate. So it's really kind of stealing from the employees. Well, no, because if you work a four, like at Verizon, we had four day work week. We, work, we worked 37.5 hours. It was three 10 days and one 7.5 is what we worked. You still had to work your 40 hours in those four days. Overtime. It depends on the state you're in. State of Massachusetts, you get paid time and a half for over, over 40. 40. Unless we're indifferently at a contract. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll okay. be interesting. All right. All right. right. So for uh, us, so, so, so step one, do we have, we know there's have still, everyone? We knew there was still it to be done, and we may find some ourselves. Like, yeah. I think we should push back a little bit on the pack. And have her take another look at and that. I think that was we did suggest. So what I would suggest is each, if each of you can look at what you feel, and then just send me a list, and then I can you know, compare. If we can adapt this, God, we can change again. So I speak. So that'll be nice to be able to look at it, manipulate it. Well, right. you, and you'll need it. You'll need to upload it to live or something. As a sheet, I just come to your house. <laughs> you know, I am going to force hibernation as of November one. Okay, so okay. once they have been identified, what's? <laughs> I mean, just get out of hibernation before they go. Well, I, I, I so identifying is going to happen behind the scenes. What are we going right. to do at the next meeting? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say that we start now looking at, and I would, my thought in, is that we go department head down. So we have the department heads down before we start talking about staff and work our way down. Well, another way it might be to take groups. Well, that's what I'm saying. Then have him come in with his whole group. No, no us. Us first. That we take the group and look at it and look at it every which way we can and say, are there any allies that we hadn't seen before? Is there something that looks different to us and why? Because when we start to invite the others in to give us, when we're not ready for it ourselves, then yeah, they try to influence things. Agree. Feeling. So I have <laughs> some in the spreadsheet. If I verified that they were already this way. We didn't give them a, a grade beach director um That's what you have in my notes well it's based no, off of the number of points but we i oh. didn't write it down oh okay That's i can fill that in okay so you're saying that the suggested new grade was filled in i didn't, I didn't fill it in so beach director recreation director um administrative assistant for the police that's it. There's only a couple. Okay, that's fine. They're missing. 
so Julie can fill those in. I think, so at our next meeting, if we send a list to Julie, I, I think looking at one group at a time is a great way because they have, they all have similar- Right, group you mean grade? No, no, no. Uh, oh. the library department, the finance school. I think you, you don't only do that because I think you then, when you feel comfortable that that looks right, one to the other, then you put it back in the grid oh. and then you then say, you okay, let's to... put all the directors and see if that makes sense now. Because... No, I was just saying the director and her team, his team. Oh, uh, I said the same thing you did, but you called it group. I called it director. And no, team. no, I didn't. I meant they shouldn't be here to tell us that. I meant it's a working thing for us to yeah, see. Just for us. Just to analyze, do some analytical. Yeah, this is just a numbers. Number yeah. analytical. So let's say you can look at everybody, everybody in finance, right? And you're looking at because similar, similar goals and responsibilities. Is anybody an outlier in there? Did, you know, the, did the tax collector get extra you know, for something you know did did their number you know yeah again that's what they're doing she's right. going to go over and have coffee he's going to work for in november we're and they're going to meet him i think our meetings yeah, you know, so for us to please. look at one please. group at a time is anybody you know tax collector and um uh, i'm not clear either so do you mean like similar in roles not department you mean she's saying department, department. So let's take the library, for example. Like five, four, right. five. If, if for some wild reason, mm -hmm. we find out that the library page has a way higher score in yeah. one category than the library director, if there is something. That would tell us something. Then we would be like, sure, this doesn't make any sense. That's the next Please. step. See, I'm thinking like... Um... This might not happen. I was thinking like administrative assistant to administrative assistant. Why did this one rate higher than that? One? That's another thing. So I think those to be, yeah. Yeah. The groups that, that are common similar. Right. Similar. And then when you put it back in, there's so many different ways to look at yeah. it because looking at it just that way yeah. isn't going to tell everything you need to know. Right. Then when you go and look at all the directors, okay, now that we feel comfortable in all the groups, let's look at all the directors because you put those together and you go, oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Exactly. Then we'll know if we have consistency from role to role yeah. and whether the job description is out of whack or it's not. Correct. So at right? this point, so, no questioning. We've got what we right. needed, right? Yeah, we may then say, oh, we need to go back to Bill because yes. we can see that that when we did this, this didn't look right. <laughs> but uh, but Bill and... Um, and those job descriptions still have to come through the normal process mm -hmm. and then we'll assess them. And I would just ask for enough notice before the next meeting so I have time to make sure that any changes that were occurring to the job mm -hmm. descriptions have been updated. And I can almost guarantee you that they haven't. <laughs> well, I brought the ones. Uh, yeah, I had those, those. I think I did. There were too, too, too many others, but I'll yeah, take a look like, at them again. Yeah, I feel like I didn't do too you many. Mean, so I don't know if I missed. Approved. The ones that we uh not the new ones, but as we went along, said, Oh, you want to specify this to be 30 pounds, not 35, or oh, vice versa, so, yeah. to make sure I made those yeah. changes as we went. So through. what could be one what one group do we look at at our next meeting? Uh, um I think you do more than one. Yeah. Because you should be able to get in a couple of them. Okay. And we're doing the whole group, not just outliers. The whole group, correct. Whole group. Yes. So why don't okay. we pick two groups to start with? And we can have a third, we can have a third if for some reason we finish. So if we take a couple of the smaller ones to get our yep. feet wet on them, yep. you know, because the police and the fire might be a little more complicated. Agreed. So if you take like the library and uh, COA? Is, COA, yeah. What's COA? Council, Council on Aging. Oh, Council on Aging, yes. Those, there's a good amount of Council on Aging. There is. is. So yes. maybe those trying to do that. I feel it's too much between the two. Oh, not in in the draft. Is Sith well, the draft is, no? I wouldn't expect to invite. No, them. not there. I mean, it, no. It, the, the, be, yes, they would be part they, of the rating. I think it's six. It's six. So that's another thing. Step zero. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, it's very difficult to figure yeah. out. Do these all belong in the same group? So no invite 
to directors, but right. obviously public meetings, so they yeah, can be right. attended. Great. But to give us a little bit of time to analyze it ourselves. What do you well, think? Well, that would be the next step. Okay. That way. They're allowed to come and advocate. Absolutely. We've got to do that. It's not reciprocal in that meeting where we were seeking from them when we were looking at mm -hmm. the job That's descriptions. Helpful. We were at, it was very helpful. Mm -hmm. So, because yeah. I'm thinking that that uh, we're not going to have a lot of the oddities. I don't think, right because we did a good job with the directors and senior leadership, and they understood the project very well. I think what's gone on DPW is just a little anomaly that they're new and they have a, an opinion of that, which is fine. We'll assess that. I do think it would be worth reiterating that um, wherever this falls, if we do go with the new grades, if we go up to 13, if we go up to 10, whatever the number is that you land at, nobody's losing pay. It would not be whatsoever. It, no, it's, it's more no. of a visual thing of like, and no, you could be said that already right. too in bold letters in yes. that email. I will say that it was very clear that no one's pay is being reduced no. in any way. No, no, I think they all the whole thing. I, I understand. Yes. And that's why that email was very to that time where we were at. I, I didn't know in the future where we were going. I couldn't lay it all out now where we're going to be next month. Because so that by step is how we're going. If we we could put people at whatever grade we want. It, 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 That's what it would have to go forward to town meeting. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so so the thought of pay bumps everywhere, it, you know what I mean, is or or change in pay. I shouldn't say pay bump. That's not the right, that's not the right verbiage. Um it's gonna be backed up by data, regardless. Correct. So but it still has got to be put forward at town meeting. Yes. I mean, from a budgetary perspective, there may only be so much wiggle room so well, where are we on um so we're identifying no, first and let me where are we on the hr and nancy's the payroll benefit coordinator was granted your position because i've not seen those i wasn't coming. here for that either so where, but they did it i wasn't at that meeting so you did nancy's and th that was a meeting i missed we did nancy's did. and we thought nancy was uh, it was probably an anomaly of some kind. When we did it that night, we looked at it and it didn't seem like it was the right. One. What was the what was the position? Uh, payroll, payroll benefit, payroll benefit coordinator. coordinator. And um, the HR. And this is to tell me. Tell me, HR director. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Payroll benefits coordinator. It's F. I'll go back and look at my notes. I think at the time there was, a, uh, the first time we talked about it, we couldn't find a job description. Mm -hmm. And then there was created, somebody yeah. created a job description and we talked about it the second time. Oh, but maybe I missed the meeting. Oh, and then I don't have it. I'll see if I can find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was one when Heather was here. I was, it was recent. It was one of the last. Because I, I had an I appointment, so I wasn't here. So, but, so you three had to have been here to have quorum if Joanna was in here. Oh, wait. There's two here. There's a payroll and benefits coordinator. Slash and risk manager. And benefits slash risk that manager. One. That's That's her. That one. That is her. I remember we didn't do it the and first we have it flat. So. so is her job description, because I just know... At the beginning, after the consultant, mm -hmm. we were concerned about your job description and the payroll not matching what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure those were set if they need to be reviewed and voted on. And we'll see that when we take a look I at think, the Yeah, I don't think there were, I don't, I didn't revise anything. I mean, there were bits and pieces, but okay. I, I think the that you probably was the our older the version, which, yeah. Uh, I'd have to look at it. I honestly don't know. It because did. it wasn't the first time they said there wasn't really much in it. And I think somebody came back. I'll have to look, but I yeah, think I there was one. We did rank it. But at the time we ranked it, we even acknowledged that this doesn't feel right. And the other thing to consider in looking at the scope of everything is I, I think the grid is going to take a bit of time. I think that 
by our first meeting in January, we need to be onto the grid. Yes, because I have other work to do too. <laughs> She's thinking no. like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are going to take us a few meetings to yeah. kind of hammer out. And by the first one in January, we've got to be on to the south. No later than. Is what no you're later than, yeah. I, who was it at the last meeting that said, we are only volunteers? Yeah, I, I get it we too. Because it happens, it's going to have to go to finance. And... We want nothing more than to have this done. You know, Trust there was a guy. Sue wants it done. Uh, <laughs> Scott, somebody. Scott, yeah. I have to um, think about what his last name is. But when I first joined, he was the chair. It was it and was Scott, um, Scott McGuire, Scott, um, yeah. Scott, uh, Scott Chase. Yeah. Yes. He was a comic. So maybe we could get him to come and visit and <laughs> give us a little. He's, I mean, he's done it for years. Well, yeah. he's a comp what expert. is he? Compensation expert. And last time I knew he was working a job, a global Worldwide right. job doing compensation for the. He went to Germany, there. didn't he? He went to Germany, yeah. yeah. Oh, so he's not Italian. Well, I don't know. That, that was so nice. He might have just uh, gone over for a short yeah. time. Now he's remote. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, he would be a good resource when we get to that stage because he was, he could put that stuff together. We'd be spinning because he'd be way ahead of us. It was like, what? <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah, he's great. He was good. All right. So Sorry, you two are going to meet and go through the spreadsheet. Yeah, we'll just play and then with send it, us the way to make it updated. This you want to do this. Yeah. Yep. So in the meantime, I'll make sure the library and the COA job descriptions reflect everything that was talked about initially during the um rating. Not everything was talked about, but the minor changes that were tweaked. I think we're this to And once you and Nancy have a chance to talk, you will send me information. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then can... yeah. All right. So, what else do we need for this evening to keep us moving forward? Dates for next meeting. Date mm. for next meeting. Well, I don't know if we were ready for that. So we agreed we're looking at COA and library at our next meeting. Mm -hmm. I kept all the uh, job descriptions as we did them and wrote, wrote notes. So I'll make sure that I have those so that if there were mm -hmm. notes written, that I have it. When's election? My election is November 7th. Do we have election in town? Not till uh, May. Mm -hmm. We have the November. Is there's a November special town meeting? Yes. Yeah, that's what the ninth. But there's no election. No. In uh, Not 16, till May. But you happen to have one in Fitchburg. Fitchburg. Is that for town? <laughs> it's every day, but. Mayor? <laughs> what is the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mayor. Special town meeting. Uh, city Councilor at large. That was on a tour in school. Those are Saturdays. Yeah. When did I have a map <laughs> Yes. Wednesday, 50. I'm sorry, what are we talking? We're trying to figure out when special time. No meetings. What is this not a, when our meeting is? Oh, I just want to make sure we weren't putting it on that night. Oh, no. 11, 14, 23. Save the date, special town meeting. Okay, so it's yeah. on Tuesday. Awesome. We want to wait. It's on a Tuesday. Oh, that somebody said they're always on Saturday. Am I Wednesday night? Yeah. Wednesday the eighth. Those are the week annuals Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Save the date, special meeting, eleven fourteen twenty three. Mm -hmm. At seven p.m. Would the eighth work? To meet next. next? To me. Wait, now we're back to Wednesday again, which is a rough night to get a link. Wednesday, I can't. I have my city council because of the election. Okay. Unless we just don't do hybrid because the links are very scarce between. 
but if anybody's not well or anything else, I, I feel like it's then, and we don't have a quorum. I know. So we were going to do the last Tuesday of because we knew. Which we're that probably ready mean, by June. No, and not. Okay. But no, exactly. We got to meet between yeah. that. Yeah, okay. So I would plan on the 28th of I'm supposed to stay so yeah, maybe the 28th of November and then one before that. The 28th? Or let's just focus on the next one. Let's focus on the, <laughs> the 28th I can do. November 28th I can do. All right, 7th you can't do. 14th is no good. Wednesday I can't guarantee I'm going to have a link, but we might have a room. On what day? Oh, we might not have a room on Monday night. Monday nights don't work, right, Julia? Um, I can do the 13th, Monday the 13th. We're in November, correct? Yeah. 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 I could do Monday the 13th. Let me just see. I could do that. I could do that. <clears throat> I don't see anything on the town calendar for the 13th yet. yet. I should be fine. I have a colonoscopy in uh, oh, on Monday morning. I don't know if you say okay. Yeah, by, by seven o'clock. Everybody what? got that written down now. <laughs> the thirteenth. It was like Seth's for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. It's a chart. I don't see anything yet, so which is so sensitive. No, no, no. You're not sensitive. You feel light. <laughs> Trust me, I'm coming home with a big old <laughs> whatever. Take the pill. So what? Yes, they, I told them. No, they gave me. This is getting recorded. Just a reminder. Six five thirty. Five thirty is nice. I like five thirty. Yeah, I could do five thirty. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Right. So eleven thirteen and eleven twenty eight. Was that or 27? I lost 28 was that Tuesday. Is that Tuesday the 28th? 30 again? Yeah. What's that date? The Tuesday 11th, the 28th. 28th. So now what? Second Second day. Day. I'm going to do a Tuesday, not a Monday that week. Because that's the last Tuesday of the month. Oh, that's what we had said. Yeah. Um, 30 then? Yeah. 30th. And I mean, if you know, we meet on the 13th, and I'm like, good. hey, that's not going to work. All right. Well, we could just, change it. Yes. But to just have it on people's. Calendars. Calendar yeah. later. Paper calendars. Don't wait for my invite. <laughs> I'll tell you what then. I wait for your invite. Then I, I, know. <laughs> I didn't know it, but I think yeah, I knew you got just sent me an invite. I knew we were mm -hmm. meeting because we had talked about the agenda. Right. But then I looked at my calendar and I'm like, that's a calendar. It, it wasn't it, when it you're wasn't on my radar. Like, you know, so I was like, oh. You got so used to just hitting your extent. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, is there any other business we're going to discuss this evening? Okay. Then I would make a motion to. Uh, I'm sorry. Any um, sorry. public comment? Someone's got their hand up. Nancy, do you have your hand up, love? I do. Just, just a thought. Yes. If please. you're thinking of changing the vacation time to days. Maybe for consistency, we should change the sick time to days. Just a thought. Oh, okay. We wouldn't have to change the way it's accrued or given because it's given up front. But right. for consistency. Okay. Good. Yep, good. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Anything else? Nothing else from me. Is there anybody else on here? I see a second name. Is that us? Does okay. it say Kara? I can't. It's not Kara's office. Okay. Okay. All right. Do we have any board yeah. comment? I take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. We take Second. a roll call vote. Thank you. Sue? Yes. Donna? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Joanna say yes. Thank you. Have a great night. And thank you, Julie. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy. Thank you. Thank you.